Hi everyone and welcome to another candle making video. First of all, I want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel. We are now over 100 subscribers. Thank you so much. Now let's get into the video. Today we are going to be testing multiple vessels and multiple wigs. As you can see right here, we have these black vessels, which are actually two sizes. We have the 150 grams and 200 grams and the mini jar, which is going to be my next launch actually sorry for the cement candle it looks kind of busted because it fell from my hands but anyway guys i prepared these candles and we're gonna be testing them i'm gonna be doing multiple check-ins every one three and four hours to show you the process i'm actually gonna be putting these candles to the test all at once but in different parts of the house i want to test the scent throw and of course the wick size so the next check-in is gonna be actually in one hour from now so at 1 40 i'm gonna set the alarm now for this type of vessel we're expecting a full melt pool at around one hour but for this smaller one i'm gonna be doing a check-in in 30 minutes because the diameter and the vessel is smaller i want to keep an eye on this the next candle we're gonna be testing is the cement candle which i made and it's gonna be a project that i'm gonna be launching on april 2022 i'm really excited about this one and at last we're testing the 200 grams black vessels with two different type of wigs the tcr and the eco ones now the tcr are actually made for softer waxes and soy waxes and the eco ones they can be used in both paraffin and soy waxes but to be honest with you guys the tcr i've tried them before they do not work for my wax which is the nature's wax c3 so i'm setting the alarm and i'm gonna see you on the one hour check-in And we are back for the one hour check-in as you can see the eco 12 it's pretty good it hasn't reached full melt pool which is what i desire with my candles as well with the 150 grams the eco 8 now for the mini jar it's i don't know what's happening here the flame is not too high and this one is just under wicked as you can see it hasn't reached a full melt pool now after two hours i can still see that the mini jar the flame it's kind of short now for this one i am pretty happy it has reached half an inch of a melt pool and for this one as well i'm pretty happy for the first burn test of this one now this is just it's just oh, under wicked as well the tcr just won't cooperate with me at all same with the cement candle i'm gonna be having to put a bigger wick and test this again now after four hours we have a full melt pool on this mini jar and the flame seems kind of okay but actually i'm gonna have to put a bigger wick on this one and test this again because you're gonna see later on the second burn that the flame again gets small and i don't like that and here the flame just gotten bigger and i don't know why this is happening but i'm gonna have to wick down and test this again you guys now the eco 12 might seem okay after four hours but you're gonna see later that i'm gonna have to change something as for the tcr i'm just not gonna talk about it anymore because it's just not working and at last the cement candle i'm gonna try to wake up and try this again now i'm gonna extinguish all candles and wait for them to set after around three four hours and i'm gonna conduct a final test and see if they will succeed at reaching a full melt pool with a half an inch dip of wax at uh, three hours and the reason why i will check them after three hours is because i read on candle science website that depending on the diameter of the candle i can find the time that it will reach full melt pool and my vessels are at around two and a half three 
inches so I will just check them all after three hours and see the results and decide from there so if you have a candle that is two inches you will check them after two hours if it's three inches after three hours and so on and right now I am going to trim the wigs and prepare them for their final burn and I also wanted to mention that after their first burn they had a pretty good scent throw except the TCR one and as you can see we have some pretty smooth tops as well so i am going to light them guys and i'm gonna see you at the final burn test at half past 11. and we are back with the final results and the mini jar i think is a complete fail because it reached full melt pool after three hours and this it's not supposed to happen the flame is too low now the cement candle i will need to wake up and test this again for the eco 8 i had pretty big hopes but the flame is just flickering a lot and it will get hotter when it gets to the bottom so i'm gonna have to wick down and test this again this one again the eco 12 i don't know why it's tunneling it had a pretty good start but now it's not working and the tcr not gonna talk about it is not working i'm gonna pass with this in conclusion these candles kind of failed so i'm gonna have to test again and in the next video i'm gonna be doing a wickless candle test so if you're interested in seeing how to test multiple wicks in just one vessel please like this video and subscribe and i'm gonna see you on the next video bye